Before we get into the video talking about how Johnny Canal is scamming children by selling them hacked Pokemon, I want to make it very clear. I do not do my videos for drama. This video is certainly not to start any drama or anything. It's to cover what is going on in the Pokemon community because the Pokemon community is in a very bad place. Let's look at the last couple of days. We have Sacred Fire threatening Philly Beach you. We have Oslo with pedophilia allegations, and then we have Johnny Canal scamming children. The Pokemon community is just in a really bad place, and it's been this way for years. There's feels like weekly, monthly, there's easily something to cover because there's a lot of scumbags trying to exploit their audience. There's a lot of fake people out there, and I love too much. I just love Pokemon too much to let it go. I'm going to be real. I'm going to cover this. That's not starting drama. They're the ones starting the drama. I'm the one that's exposing what they are up to. So let's talk about Johnny Canal. I feel the best way of describing Johnny Canal is that he saw Oslo making absolute bank on Twitch and decided to copy the format for YouTube. Pretty much just non-stop hacked Pokemon giveaways, taking in money for donations. That way he can also give po people hacked Pokemon in exchange for donations. But he also opened up a store and was selling his hacked Pokemon. Now, if this isn't enough evidence, you know, we have the Marshadow event recently becoming available and then giving away hundreds of Marshadow in tens of hours of stream sessions. He also has discontinued events such as shiny Darkrai and shiny mythical Pokemon that are no longer available as well as shiny legendaries and he gives them away in insane amounts of bulk. Well all you have to do is actually watch the stream and he's using homebrew that every once in a while this, there's like a crash or something because he's using unstable modified game software and he goes into his homebrew so there we go using multiple forms of homebrew and startup so we know that he has a modified console which is illegal and then using modified saves and most likely a pirated copy of the game so pretty pretty sketchy right there now this is the picture that we have from the store uh, there used to be like pictures of him selling Pokemon but he took it down after I started exposing him on Twitter and we'll get into his reaction later because his reaction is very very sketchy pretty much he laughs at it. he's like oh I can do whatever I want Nintendo can't touch me you know they have to sue me before they can stop me this is what he ends up saying and then he ends up taking down his website so he backs out of of it pretty quick. Either way, here, here's kind of what we saw. We saw Kalos Event Pikachu being sold for $2, effectively selling event Pokemon in bulk for $2. If you want a custom Pokemon, it's $4. If you wanted a custom team, that's $20. And of course, all of those Pokemon can be shiny. And we know that he's using save modification. Well, all we have to do is just look at the rules for Pokemon. Here's Mr. Illegally Manipulated Pokemon. The use of external devices to create or modify items or Pokemon is expressly forbidden. That immediately makes a Pokemon illegal, even if it's modification. Even if you catch a wild Pokemon and then change its IVs to be perfect, 100% illegal modification, that Pokemon is not legal, which is why it's very, very curious that on his old Q&A on the website, there was the thing, are these Pokemon legal? And Johnny Canal himself says, yes. All of my Pokemon are legal. You can use them in the battle spot, trades, and battles. They are bred in-game, which we know is a complete lie because he has homebrew. He's effectively just saying that to weakly cover himself. Pretty much if a quick Nintendo representative or someone that's actually like trying to close his account down sees that, they might not give it too much of a second look because you really have to do some digging. But at the same time, it's obvious when this is happening. Pretty much, have you ever like seen someone upload a movie in full to YouTube and then they put like, this is fair use in the description? Well, they're just lying. So we already know that Johnny Canal is perpetually lying to his audience to make more money. That they think, oh, they're legal, I'm going to pay up, and we actually have fans defending him. Leave Johnny alone. I've gotten at least 10 of his Pokemon via Wonder Trade, and they're legal. Um, our little, our little rule set says, no, they are not legal. So he is successfully tricking his audience into purchasing Pokemon that are hacked and illegal to use in battle while also using pirated software and illegally modified game data as well as console data. He is he's kind of, he's kind of going pretty hard in on this commercial side of things. Just kind of take it even further, which is why I find this even, even better. So we got people, we got people on the DMs DMing him and then sending those messages to me. We also have people in his discord not selling a copyright item, I'm simply providing a service trade Pokemon. Again, another lie from Johnny Canal right here because any Pokemon, any part of that intellectual property is copyrighted. The name that you are selling on your website because, oh, this is identifying Ash Cap Pikachu, you know, Callus Event Pikachu by name, by sprite, by image on the website with the trademarked 
software and game data that he is distributing commercially. So yeah, you are breaking, you are violating copyright by doing that. And then Verlisfy just wants to start drama. So here's why I brought that part up in the beginning of the video, because he says it again. I'm only attacking him, guys. Think about this. I am only making this video. Not because he's distributing thousands of hatch Pokemon. Not because he is lying, saying that those Pokemon are not hacked. Not because he is selling them to children to exploit them for money. And then lie to his audience to make further money from this. Because he's lying about Nintendo copyright to his audience as well. Not doing it for any of those reasons. I'm only doing it because I want to start drama. In Johnny's eyes, I do not care about Pokemon. I do not care about the Pokemon community. I do not care about legitimate Pokemon even though that is pretty much the three main pillars of my channel, I'm only doing this video for the drama. It doesn't make any sense. That's why I don't understand why anyone can say I'm doing videos for the drama. Everything I do is supported. Every video I make, I believe, is for the best of the community. I'm not doing it just for the views. I don't need to do it for the views as well, because if we take a peek on my channel, these are like the top 100 videos by views on my channel. We also look at sub rates and stuff, and pretty much... I don't need drama. These are all game guides. These are strategy guides. This, this is talking about other things. Very little, if any, is drama considering how you're looking at it. Let's look at my top 10 videos. Uh, no drama here. We keep going down. No drama. 99% of my views are from my over 3,000 videos that are not drama. But guys, I only... I only exist on YouTube for drama, I only make videos for drama. So again, spreading more misinformation to his audience to make himself look better in defense. I mean, like, what could we count as drama videos? Like, very few, depending on what we call it. Oh, hacking banned. I mean, this is just, oh yeah, see guys, I'm against hacking, but it's only for the views. I, I don't, I don't try to do all this legitimate play, I'm only doing it to start drama. The rest is like news and updates and stuff, and then, yeah, so maybe like out of my top 100 videos, in the bottom... 20 there's maybe three videos that I don't even consider I did for drama But if you want to consider a drama, there you go guys. So yeah again Johnny Canal just saying I only do it for views don't really understand that so this guy right here uh, DMing uh, Johnny Canal on Twitter right here recommend shutting down that website bad things are gonna happen You're gonna get sued or striked by Pokemon very illegal. He says nope. He can try he can try to expose me. Verlisfy, he's not, he's, he's trying to act very defensive, like it's not bothering him, like he doesn't care. But again, he ends up shutting down his website, and he had a video. About three weeks ago, he had a video advertising his website. So not only did he just start up a website, but he was advertising on his main channel with, I don't know how many subscribers he had at that time, but he currently has over 100,000. So he was getting a lot of exposure to sell to his young audience, which is a pretty big problem. And then his response is, he makes a video, I'll counter him, I'll be defensive. He bullies many other YouTubers. Um, this is just a lie. I do not, like, this is not bullying Johnny Canal, what I'm doing right now. And like I've said, I don't do videos for the drama. Exposing him of his scumbaggery, of his terrible actions, is not bullying. I am not attacking him, I am not threatening him in any way, and he feels threatened by me, so he has to be defensive. He has to call it bullying. Also, he's already threatening me to make a video to counter. How are you going to counter it, Johnny? We know that you use hatch Pokemon, we know that you're selling and lying po about Pokemon to your audience, what are you going to do? I, I'm pretty sure after the Duncan Callum video, there's really nothing else that needs to be said about me. I'll say it right now. Okay, Felicify is supposed to himself, so Johnny Canal doesn't have to. I told someone to drink base liquids once uh, because it was, it was a play on words and it was a joke, and I didn't even make a direct self-harm comment, so all right, I'm a terrible person right there. I, I don't like hacking. I, I don't like following the Pokemon rules. That makes me a bad person, obviously, in Johnny Canal's eyes and anyone else in the Pokemon community. I've called a few people retarded for acting stupid on the internet and attacking me. I, I think that's it. I think that's all that really can be exposed about me. Man, good job, Johnny Canal. Excellent, excellent video being defending yourself from my attacks because all like get ready for his video his video is just gonna be a giant ad hominem fallacy mixed in with a little bit of straw man because instead of admitting any of his wrongs he's just going to attack me he's gonna be like well verlicify told someone to kill himself which is a lie because i've never done that before but instead of actually taking blame he's just gonna be like verlicify is attacking and bullying me but instead of actually addressing what i'm covering in this video right here so, uh, looking at this, you know, he's talking about it. Verlisify is fear-mongering me, guys. By saying he's doing Ill illegal things and scamming his audience, I'm fear-mongering him. And it looks like it worked. I wonder if he did that. I wonder if he's like, guys, guys, Verlisify threatened me so hard I shut down my store. 
You know, I, I'm, I'm actually really worried right now that he's just trying to attack me and make me lose my living. Guys, you need to buy more Pokemon off me or else I'm not going to be able to do this anymore. And I think that's also another big problem is that since Johnny Canal's channel has been blowing up mostly off of like all these exclusive events, you know, Shiny Tapu Koko, all these Shiny Legendaries, the Ash Cat Pikachus, he, and just non-stop streaming, he gets larger. What happens when you have a larger audience? Well, there's less of a chance you're going to be able to receive his trades via the Wonder Trade or the GTS. So that means there's going to be more incentive to buy. Dangerous, like when channels start growing in size like this, same for Oslo or anything, it just gets more and more dangerous because there's going to be people that are staying through hours, wasting hours of their life to be in competition with hundreds or thousands of other people, and then they don't get the Pokemon, so they have to turn around and then buy a fraudulent hacked Pokemon off of Johnny Canal because he, he's just fake. He puts on the show, and then he's just like, yeah, guys, uh, I have a website now so you can buy Pokemon. Or he also does it for donations and stuff like that. But somehow, me pointing out just these facts and just going on about how much of a scumbag someone has to be to do this uh yeah i i guess i'm in the wrong for this one so i just finished recording the main part of the video when someone sent me more pictures from the discord so i'm just going to throw them somewhere into the video but oh my god guys this is absolutely disgusting and pretty good insight as to what kind of character Johnny Canal is. So he's on discord i'm lonely guy don't you have a girlfriend yeah hang out with her bored no if I had a girlfriend, I would, de like, yeah, this guy, right, he's like, if I had a girlfriend, I would just hang out with her nonstop. I know, I'd have way more respect for someone I'm in a relationship with. Um, dude, if I had a girlfriend to be hanging out with, thought you did, and that's possibly a lie. Uh, women are boring. All right, sh showing a lot of respect right there. But then it just gets cringe. Like, I don't, I don't understand if he's trying to make jokes. I think it, this just seems like someone who has very low self-esteem and needs to, like, pump themselves up by making really bad jokes. I don't, I don't know. It seems like he's trying, he's just desperate for attention at this point. Any proof of this girlfriend? Panties. Look at that. What? Like, that, that's not funny. That's just dry humor and cringe. And it, it, I don't know. I'm selling your panties 20 bucks a piece worn by a real woman. And then this. So, like, I, I want to think that this picture isn't real because the guy, like, I reversed image search. I didn't get anything. So, if there's anyone on the Discord that said they saw this, yeah, because, like, the, this was a Twitter DM. Guy said I could use the pictures. Toy Bucks panties, any worn. Everyone takes photos together as a couple. Smell the scent of woman fresh off that pier. What is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? And then, he, then I was told this is him. I was told this is him wearing his girlfriend's panties and socks as proof that he has a girlfriend, but he won't hang out with her. I don't really know what I can say about that. It'd be just too easy to just go off on him and be negative about it, but this is more about him hacking. However, I think just little bits of insight into his character, how he treats his fans, how he treats his Discord, and what he, the, the just off-color, poor-taste jokes that he makes about his girlfriend. And then doing that, I, I, I don't really, I don't really know what to say about that. Um, and then it starts getting crazy. So then it starts getting crazy. You're not destroying anyone, really. Your video's coming, too. So, again, threatening me with another exposed video that I've already kind of ex uh, talked about what's going to happen. And then this is where it gets scary. It looks like Johnny Canal has done a lot of research into this. That he is doing his best to avoid copyright. That he knows what he is doing is wrong so much that he is trying to avoid the law as much as possible. Pretty much what this post is right here is that he's copy-pasting this from another site that sells hacked Pokemon. And the FAQ for this site also says that all of their Pokemon are legal. The way that they try to get around this is that whole legal, illegal, and legit kind of thing that says a Pokemon is legal if they have possible stats even though if they are Pika, Hex, or Gen. That's, a, that's wrong. That's a lie. I've debunked this lie many, many times through the Nintendo Terms of Service, through the Pokemon Terms of Service, and through the Pokemon VGC rules. So this is actually even extra interesting. So Johnny Canal is aware of this. He posts this, and effectively what happened was people selling hacked Pokemon on eBay got banned from selling hacked Pokemon on eBay because it's, it's illegal. Due to copyright concerns, sales of digitally delivered items are restricted on eBay. eBay doesn't want to deal with the copyright issues that hacked Pokemon sellers are doing, and therefore they're being removed. So also what these people try to do is that they were hosting ads to sell their uh, hacked Pokemon as well, and then it's clearly infringement, copyright law, and all kinds of st fun stuff like that. Uh, also at the end of this post, this software is licensed by Nintendo only for personal and non-commercial use on your 3DS system. Um, if you're selling hacked Pokemon on an already illegally modified console, that's that's definitely commercial use, especially when you have a website that has a shop where you're selling hacked Pokemon commercial use. But at the same time, Johnny Canal says, nah, 
Nothing wrong right here. You know, you can do whatever you want with your game, even though it violates terms of service. He is finding ways around it. Matter of fact, I'm hiring people to make custom Pokemon commissions to avoid copyright. So here he is, talking about avoiding copyright actively. Actively seeking ways around copyright. I think he's trying to do like t-shirt sales. So pretty much just make a jank, not Pokemon looking Pokemon shirt. A lot of people do this, but see, he's trying to find the best ways of avoiding copyright right here. Um, case was a while ago, someone sold a Bulbasaur-inspired planter, and then Nintendo went after them for copyright infringement. So he's looked at other cases. Pretty much, he's tried to track down the legality of this through third party. You know, it's like, this is offhand. You can't really take what these guys are saying, because these guys, they're trying to sell hacked Pokemon. They are trying to distribute copyrighted materials in-game. So they're going to say, yeah, um, we feel that it's a gray area, when really, legally, the Pokemon company, if they had enough interest, could take it down very easily. But that's also resources that the Pokemon company might not be wanting to spend. So, as you can see, Johnny has been actively avoiding copyright uh, took advice of other people to not go on to eBay where they where Johnny Canal would get shut down for distributing on eBay to start their own website instead and then hire graphics to dodge copyright even further by looking into the cases if that's illegal then Nintendo has to sue me so he's challenging Nintendo as well he's saying even if all this is illegal I don't care I'm gonna keep doing illegal things until Nintendo sues me this is what we're dealing with and somehow I'm the one starting the drama. Somehow I'm the one that needs to be exposed. When you're lying to your audience of mostly younger people, a younger Pokemon audience that's trying to receive Pokemon from you, and then you're selling them only for profit. You don't care about the community. You don't care about your audience at all. You're only doing this just so you can sell the most hacked Pokemon and then break the game and break the community even more. That this does no good for the community. Giving away hacks, giving away fraudulent Pokemon is... There's no, there's no good. There's no benefit for it. Also, I find it very hypocritical because also we have this video, a uh, Pokemon Sun and Moon Mystery G Event Gift Mega Stones. So showing people how to do a legit mystery gift event from the Pokemon company on his channel filled with hacked Pokemon. The only reason he's doing that is it's relevant news and it's going to get him views. So as you can see, every decision is only for the money. Opening up a website to sell Pokemon. Copying Oslov, a successful Pokemon hacker and seller as well. And then just trying to spam as many streams for as many views with as many donators as possible. It's it's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. And then uh, then he's talking about oh you guys hear about the drama about Rakeem Marvelous and Oslov. So he's talking about how he also wants to make a video exposing them in this Discord as well. So now he feels that he's the one that can expose others. But remember, I'm the one doing it for drama, guys. He has he's not done any news, not done any exposing. All he's done is sell hacked Pokemon to children. And now he decides to drop on some more exploding controversy inside the Pokemon community. I came in covering news. I came in covering what is going on in the community, but it seems like he's just trying to double down on as much views as he can get, showing just a complete disregard for anyone involved. He has no experience with how to cover these situations as well. And then also just talk about like the illegality and stuff about it. We have Jagex, we have Blizzard, we have Overwatch. You know, Overwatch, uh, Blizzard, they are successfully suing players that are suing companies that are distributing aimbots. They're also shutting down players that are using aimbots. Jagex wins court case against RuneScape botters and also in the past Jagex has taken down gold selling websites because the gold in the game is Jagex's currency and one way that Jagex has found a way around this is that by banning like you can shut down the website because the only way the website can make traffic is by using is by breaking terms of service so preemptively you can effectively do the same thing you can say that the only way these Pokemon can be sold and distributed in such mass on the homebrew software that Johnny Canal uses is breaking, is violating terms of service. So it doesn't matter if the site itself is illegal, or it doesn't matter if the site itself is legal or whatever else is going on is technically not in direct violation of anything. But to perform the actions, perform the services of the website, you must violate service. You must violate the agreements as well, so you can preemptively shut it down that way. That's kind of how Jagex does it, from my understanding. So there we go, guys. This is it. This is our Pokemon community. Somehow I'm going to get hate. Somehow it's going to be drama. Even though we have scamming children involved and other terrible things going on in the community. Maybe one day people will learn about the same time it's a young audience. That all you have to do is be fake. Johnny Canal, he's trying to play the sympathy card. Relicify's bullying me. I need to expose him. I'm defending myself to his younger audience who he's already scamming. He has them in the palm of his hand. No one seems to care. It's a damn shame. So if you guys enjoyed the video, hope you all have a nice day. Thank you very much for watching.